What is up guys? Faces Gaming here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a look back on Chapter 2 Season 6. And uh, I know everybody and their mom is doing this on YouTube. I'm doing I'm doing the same thing everybody's done, but they have their perspective and I have mine. Plus, I'm really excited for tomorrow for uh Season 7 which drops tomorrow. So, this video is going up tomorrow to be fair though, so I could I could post it today, but now wait till wait till tomorrow. Cuz why not? So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's start with the good. We're gonna start with the good first, then move over to the bad, and then in the end, have my final thought. So let's start with the good. Well, first things first. Let's start with the event. Uh, the event this season was interesting. Now, was it like like better than other 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 events that happened recently? Well, it's up there. Now, what, now you gotta admit that when it comes to epic. Epic knocks it out of the park every time they have a live event, so there's really not much to talk about. The, the event was good, introduced us to the story of season 6, and um, that's it. Uh, next up is the battle pass. Um, when I saw Raven and Raz, I said that that's a cop. Well, really, when I saw Raven, I said that's a cop. Copped it, maxed it up, you know, then you know, the normal way to play for a night. Grab the battle pass, max it out, unless you want to buy all the tiers and not max it out, then that's up to you. Um, map changes? Hmm. Eh. They all right. Got a few spires on the map. Spire in the middle. Colossal Colosseum turned to Colossal Crops. And then we got Slothy Tower turning to Bony Burbs. And I didn't really care for... I didn't really care for Slothy Towers anyway. So... Eh. And also the Spire... We also had two mythics at the spire. The myth like, we we have we also, we also had two mythics at the, at the spire. We had the mythic boots, which were. Nah. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. We also had we all this is now for the first time we had three different mythics at the spire. The first week, uh, the first half of season six, we have the mythic drum. We had the mythic primal shotgun, which was broke, which was broken, which was nasty. Then halfway through, we had the broken. We had the mythic recycler. Well, the recycler was at it, and then yeah, recycler was bad though. And then now, at the, and now right at the end, we still have the mythic. We have to set the mythic explosive bow, which it's not that it's not good at all. Sorry. Um. Well, we'll save that for that. We'll save that for later. Uh, what else was? I'm trying to think of the positives. Not many positives. Well, besides besides the crafting though, the crafting was pretty was a pretty interesting was pretty interesting. Uh, so like you don't oh you don't just get max and build you get then get ammo get guns you get guns but then you craft using metal, mechanical parts and uh, bones that you can find on the map. Mechanical parts come from cars. Uh, big, huge car piles and like compact cars or camp cot. If you don't know where those two are, I don't blame you. Or bones, which, which, which can be found in the primal areas for from animals that were newly added. We had chickens, we had raptors, we had uh, frogs, we had wolves, boars. There was there, there was many different ways to get to get bones. To be fair, or you could buy them by both off one of the. NPCs are on the map, which also house exotics like the Shadow Tracer, Dual Hop Rocks, uh, Chuck Cannon, and then the new, then like a new mythic that was added, the Marksman Rifle, Marksman Six Shooter, excuse me. Um, what else? What else? Anything else interesting? Well, no, not really. That's about it. So, let's quickly run through the negatives. First off, the crafting. Now, to me personally, like I said, I truly did like the crafting mechanic in this, in this season. But I had to admit that it did feel a bit, you know, intrusive. Because when you play for it, when you play a battle royale, you want to do one thing. Like you, you want to do one thing you already know how to do: loot up and get into a fight. You don't want that. So this season, you had to first find a makeshift, find a mechanical or, or find a mechanical or a uh, bone, and then take that makeshift and craft the weapon. Either you want a primal, which hit hard but was inaccurate, or a mechanical, excuse me, or a mechanical, which hit hard, shot slower, 
and it did, you know, the same amount of damage as the Primal. So, uh, yeah, like, a lot of the players were, were mixed. Some stuck with the Mechanical, some stuck with the Primal. I don't know. And, um, map flow, there was no mobility, so... If you didn't have a boom, if you didn't have a, a, a shockwave bow like you're seeing on screen, if you didn't have a shockwave bow, which you you which would you which you can make by taking a make, makeshift bow, use mechanical parts to make it into a mechanical bow, find some uh find two count them, yes, two shockwave grenades, and then craft them to make a mechanical shockwave bow. And if you didn't know how to craft Pressure, all you gotta do is press the button that opens up your inventory. Press your right bumper, press right R1 on the PlayStation, right bumper on, um, right bumper on, um, P on, um, Xbox or whatever button, whatever key you use on, uh, or whatever key or, like, use your mouse to click on the PC. Then, click that menu, select the weapon you want to craft. And then click that big red, pick, click that big yellow button. That's, that's that craft. That's about it. Pretty easy, right? Well, not like I said, at the beginning of the season, it was really confusing. But, like I said, once the season went on, people, myself included, got used to it. Um, what else? Well, the map itself. Uh, the map was, hmm, how can I describe the map? I'm, I'm trying to be as not, I'm trying to be as crit, I'm trying to be as, as like, true and honest as possible. The map, in my opinion, you know, this season, it was well for one if, if if daytime comes and you're in you're in the orange it is bright and distracting it is bright you'll see in this you'll see in a clip come you'll see in a moment coming up in the video so let's just keep moving uh what's next what's next i'm trying to think of more negatives but well basically the whole the entirety of the season was just a bit of a mixed bag for everybody uh, from the, from the crafting to the makeshifts to the primos to the spire to basically the way the map works in general Like the map flow was really just all over the place and with the big overlying problem of Fortnite the fact that lobbies and solos duos squads trios Like mo but mostly solos like the lobby dies out so fast you could like with the with the introduction of this crap system you could spend half the match Finding, mechan finding mechanical parts, finding bones, looking for that one weapon you want, whether it's a makeshift shotgun or a makeshift AR, craft the weapon that you want. Or, if you want to go the extra mile, you can talk to one of the NPCs that will let you upgrade your makeshift from gray to blue. Now if, you, now, if you craft with a gray, you get a green. If you craft with a green, you get a blue. Craft with a blue, you get a purple. So, if you want a green mechanical AR, maybe you want a green regular AR, craft with a gray. Make sure craft for the craft for the great make sure they are you want a green you want a blue one craft for the green you want a you want a scar craft with the blue and the same works for the shotguns pistols and bows well not so much the bows the bows required something extra speaking of the bows let's quickly touch over them right quick real, just real quick so there were two there were three different flavors of bows you had the regular makeshift which was garbage well it it, it was really garbage <laughs> Then you had the mechanical bow, which wasn't any better than like the makeshift, and then you had the primal, which again wasn't any better than the makeshift. Now, starting with the primal, both the me mechanical and primal came in made came in two different flavors. For the primal, you could take a gas can or a firefly jar, two of them, and mix them together to make a flame bow, which dealt flame damage and burnt and burnt you know structures. Or you could take a stink fish or a uh, stink cell from like a frog or something and put them together to make the stink bow which uh, which acted like a long range stink bomb which really was it which really wasn't that good and then on the opposite side of that coin you have the mechanical side find six grenades yes you heard me six grenades and the mechanical bow boom you got a mechanical explosive bow find two shockwave grenades and a mechanical bow Boom! Mechanical Shockwave Bow, which was the best bow in the season because of mobility. Remember, we don't we don't have we didn't have we don't have much mobility in the season anyway because launch pads aren't in the game. We don't have wrist fish now. You can now we do have NPCs that do have rifts that you know you can use gold to rift. Pretty tough story. Or you can take cars. 
And uh, speaking on cars, real quick segue. Uh, in this season, we got the introduction of our first car attachment in the form of the tires, and everybody thought we were gonna get like, you know, like a front bumper, a mounted turn on the top of them, on the top. But maybe next season. But for this season, good place to start. So you can finally take your, you can finally take the speed of your Lambo, throw a, throw a wheel on it, throw the tire, throw like a brand new tire attachment on there, and you can watch in awe as your Lambo speeds up hills, down hills, and across grass. It was, it was, it was, make, I ain't gonna lie, the tires were fun, the tires were a lot of fun, so the tires are gonna go on the, in, in the pro, on the pro side, but, yeah, man, like, my pro really don't seem so, my, my cons don't really seem so bad, though, but, I guess it's just because with this season alone, I just didn't care, I just, I legit, just, I just didn't care, I physically just did not care, it was like, whatever happened, I was like, alright, okay, cool, I was like, okay, cool, Cause see, by week six, I had already finished the battle pass, so I was just like, I turned, I shut my brain off when it came to Fortnite. Now that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy the things that they did. Of course, we had the Impossible Escape L team, which was fun. Uh, you, by completing it, you got a uh, loading screen and an umbrella, which the umbrella is pretty good in my opinion. The umbrella of the season, though, is <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, like, that's the best way I can, the best way I can, I can describe it. And uh, halfway through, we got, like I said, the recycler, which was not that good. And we also got the return of the tag shotgun. Look at my second slot on the video. My, the tag is back. Yay. I was happy for that. We also got the, we also got Wild Week. Right now, we are in Wild Week 3. Uh, which is the gold wheat. The second wheat was the bouncer wheat, and the first wheat was the fire wheat. Now, the fire wheat was where the was where the flame bow really shined, and also the the flare gun came back, and that was fun. Like uh, the first week of wild wheat, well, it was pretty good. The second week, eh, it was alright. I'm not really doing anything special. And then this week, I just didn't care. I legit, I did not care. So like my also oh, getting into my con conclusions of the season, cause dude. My thoughts seem to be all over the place, and I do apologize for that. Uh, what can I conclude about season six? Well, season six, season six was a pretty lackluster season. Just like in my opinion, like I said in my, uh, like I said in my uh, Fortnite trailers video, uh, season six, I put it in the B tier, and I think that is still what I think about it. It's it's a pretty just average season. It didn't have a lot. Good. It had it had a lot good. It had a lot bad. But overall, it was just. Season 6 was just kind of there, like season 5, it was just, th this season, it just existed. Like, I mean, I know, I, I know, like, the, the introduction of, like, the, like, the mechanical part and the bones and the makeshift stuff was, like, there to, like, give players, you know, more, more customizability for, like, the loadouts, but in the end, people just gravitated towards the mechanical side. Now, I did play around with, with, with the primal, like, AR, shotgun, bow, and SMG, and whatnot, and the pistol. By the way, the primal pistol was garbage. I don't even know why you would think to use that. Why would you even think to use that? But, yeah, but, again, uh, overall, this, again, like I said, this season was just average. Now, am I gonna miss this season? Maybe after Chapter 2, I'll probably look back on Season 6 and think, man, this season, this season wasn't that bad. Because, for a funny, funny thing, side tangent here, I'm thinking the same thing about Chapter 1, Season 10. You, We all know the next season. I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking back fondly on that season, so maybe this season I'll look back fondly too. Um... Oh yeah, one more thing. We had the Batman comic. We had the Batman comic start this season, and uh, yeah, Batman was in the game. We had Batman Zero. We got Catwoman. Uh, Catwoman's in the store right now. Both versions, the old school and the Zero. We got Deathstroke. So yeah, like in terms of like skins, this season was I. Right. Not me. Not too many skins that I that we caught my. Eye. We had an NBA collaboration too. We had Aloy from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which. Which by the way, the game was free. Do the bomb. Yeah, had to. But yeah, overall, season six, I'm not really gonna miss it. But like, like I said, maybe a couple years from now, I'm gonna think back and be like, I missed this season. Uh, and uh, that's my perspective on things. What about you guys? Uh, if you played Fortnite, how did you feel about the season? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Did you just not care about it like I did? 
Let me know down in the comments. And uh, if I see, then uh, if you're gonna like hop into the new season tomorrow, hopefully I see you there. So I'm done. I'm gonna stop talking now. I love you guys so much. We're barely through five four hundred. We're close to five hundred. So love you guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the videos. Talk to you guys later. Peace.